Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is um, a really pretty orange sparkly um, eyeshadow look. I'm using a couple of orange colors, one from Coastal Stamps, another from MAP. And um, the special part of this look is using a pigment by Micabella, which I've used in past tutorials. And this is what it looks like. And um, it's called Carnival. It's about $15. You can find it in any mall um, kiosk. I believe any mall because I went to a couple of already East and West Coast, and they have Micabel in those little push carts. Um, so the more you buy, I know the girls um, bring down the price. So it can be anywhere from fifteen to like eleven dollars, depending on how much, or eleven to fifteen dollars, depending on how much um, you purchase. So anyhow, this is the look. I'm still a little bit sick or under the weather, so if you see the color of my nose change throughout the video, it's because I've been wiping or blowing. So yeah, sorry about that. I know it's gross, but I can't help being a mopoza. So anyhow, if you're interested, just keep watching. First, you're going to want to start by priming your eyes. You can pick any primer of your choice or base, and I'm going to be using Max Paint Pot and Bare Study, and it looks like this. You can either use your fingers or you can use a brush that looks similar to this one or whatever you prefer or you've been using that easily applies um, a creamy base. I'm just going to be using my ring finger to apply this all over my um, eyelid from my lash line to my brow line. Then I'm going to be taking a shimmery orange eyeshadow from the Fresh Cut palette from the Graphic Garden Collection matte. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to pack on that eyeshadow and apply it all over my lid. Then taking an orange color from my Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette, I'm going to be picking up a really bright orange, and it looks like this. And I'm going to be taking that same fluffy brush and taking that bright orange into my crease. I didn't want um, the contrast to be too different but just to darken up the crease just a bit. I'm going to be using this shimmer color, the creamy color I've used um, quite a bit in the past. Just using my finger and taking that into or onto the brow, brow bone rather and blending it in with that brush. Now taking a flat brush, my hair is really out of control. Every take or every time that I edit this video, I'm like sneezing my head off, wiping my nose, or like, I don't know, tousling my hair. So my hair is going to look a little wild in this video. So taking a little bit of um, Fix Plus or any of your mixing medi mediums, spraying a flat eyeshadow brush like this one here. This one's from e.l.f. Um, dot com or eyes lips and face dot com I'm gonna be taking Micabella's pigment in Carnival which I love I've used this tons of times so I'm definitely getting my money's worth it looks like this and I'm just gonna be patting this pigment and trying to be careful not to get follow everywhere I'm going to be patting this onto my eyelid. Since um, my hip cream eyeliner in black dried up un unexpectedly, which is a bummer because I was in love with that, 
I've yet to pick up a new one because they always have like purple and teal and all those random colors all except for black so um, I have yet to run into it and when I do I'll sure I'll purchase another one but for now I'm picking up my newest favorite eyeliner and it's a liquid liner and it looks like this it's called eye definer felt tip eye marker and the tip looks like this I love it because it gives you so much control and it's so easy to do Now to line my lower lash line, I'm just going to be using um, this black pencil from NYX Cosmetics. I also want to go back with that flat brush that we use for the pigment. Dip it into the orange color from the Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette and take that into the lower lash line before we add mascara. I'm going to be using Lash Blast by CoverGirl and just giving my eyelashes a light coat and working it into the bottom to finish this look, I'm just going to be using my um, Sephora Sculpting Disc. I'm going to take the sun part of this palette, which looks like this, just onto my cheekbones here to give me a little bit of color and also some contour. Like that. Then I'm going to be taking this metal powder here. And see if you can see that. It's a mattifying powder. So I'm going to take it and just press it onto where uh, my cheekbones are at, just to give them a little bit of highlight with no shimmer. Then for my lips, I used um, a Brave New Bronze. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, a Brave New Bronze from Mac. And it says it's satin, but it goes on matte, for me at least. And it looks like this. And on top of that, I just added a couple of swipes of Bonnebelle's um, Cappuccino Lip Gloss, which I love. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.